done a lot of research on multi-tiered systems of support and dynamic assessment. Can you talk a little bit about similarities and differences between those approaches? Yeah, they are incredibly similar conceptually. You um, are probably measuring the same construct, really, which is language learning or learning potential. Well, in the context of language, anyways, learning potential. The difference in many ways is really just a, a time factor. You know, the dynamic assessment can be done so much more quickly than than response to intervention or MTSS. The interesting thing about dynamic assessment is that, you know, it started out with with a, an abbreviated process, but still often with a couple of sessions at least of intervention and it's sort of evolving to an even more abbreviated approach, or at least that's what I've been doing with my research. Um, and so now the contrast between dynamic assessment and MTSS is even greater where we're doing dynamic assessments in about maybe 10 minutes or so, and MTSS takes multiple weeks or, or months to get that same information. They're both incredibly valuable, and, and MTSS just seems to be a, a part of the process, I think, that you would do with children throughout the school year. And it's just good practice to frequently monitor their progress, determine what they need, and change the intensity and approach, right, according to, uh, according to their needs.